Hey guys, welcome back to Harbour Unbox. I'm your host Matt and today we're taking a look at Intel's latest 6th generation Core i5-6600K CPU. If you haven't already watched our Core i7-6700K video, I suggest you head over and watch that one as well as we discuss the Skylake architecture in much more detail. The Core i5-6600K isn't that dissimilar to the 6700K. It too is a 91 watt quad core processor designed to take full advantage of DDR4 memory. However, the 6600K is a little over 30% cheaper than the 6700K as we expect to see a retail price of around $240. So you might be wondering what you're missing out on by saving all that money and going for the cheaper 6600K. The key missing ingredient is hyper-threading, which affords the 6700K 8 threads. So this means the 6600K is limited to 4 threads. The L3 cache has also been reduced from 8MB to 6MB, no different to the Haswell Core i5s. When compared to the 6700K, the 6600K is also clocked lower, though this is a non-issue as both are fully unlocked CPUs. Still, for those wondering, the 6600K features a 3.5GHz base clock with a maximum single core turbo frequency of 3.9GHz. Keeping that in mind, let's head over to the benchmarks. First up, we tested using Cinebench. In the multi-threaded test, the 6600K managed to eke out the 4690K by just 7 points. In the single-threaded test, they went CB mark to CB mark, and the 4690K got the nod by a single point in the end. Next we looked at web export, and the story was similar. The 6600 and 4690 were extremely close in performance, with the 6600 just winning by 6 points. Our Microsoft Excel test results were in line with the others so far, with the 6600 taking 0.3 seconds less to complete the Monte Carlo workload than its Haswell counterpart, the 4690. Unsurprisingly, the 7-zip scores weren't any different, with the two CPUs were mainly comparing scoring virtually the same. Again, the 6600K claimed a very minor victory. Our Photoshop benchmark was, well, you can see for yourself. Again, the 6600 just edged out the 4690K. In our final workload benchmark, we ran it through Handbrake's conversion test, and performance was very similar once more. This time though, the 4690K claimed its first scalp. Next, we paired the 6600K with a GeForce GTX 980 and tested some games on max quality settings. First up was Bioshock Infinite. All Intel Generations tests have received virtually the same score, well within the margin of error at between 113 frames per second and 115 frames per second. Hitman Absolution told the same tale, with all Intel processors that we included scoring either 67 frames per second or 68 frames per second. Our third and final title was Metro Redux, where we saw some separation between the Core i5s and the Core i7s. A difference between Haswell and Skylake though was non-existent. Our final test was power consumption with Handbrake, where the 6600K performed very well. It was significantly more efficient than its counterpart, the 4690K, and used a lot less power than the i5s and i7s of previous generations. The Core i5-6600K was only really able to match the performance of the 4690K, which is of course based on what is now a two-year-old architecture. We were hoping to see a performance gain of at least 5%, but really, even that would have been rather uneventful. The good news is that the 6600K proved to be much more fuel efficient than the 4690K, consuming 20% less power in the handbrake test. Overclocking was also a strength of the Skylake architecture, and our 6600K overclocked like a champ. We'll be putting out an overclocking video next week, so be sure to stay tuned for that one. Overall, the Core i5-6600K is a solid processor, and while it is supported by some fancy new chipsets and high-frequency DDR4 memory, we doubt this will be enough to lure existing Intel users that have invested in a Core i5 processor in the last four years. With overclocked 2500K processors still doing quite well, we think Intel needs to do more to justify the upgrade. This has been Matt for Hardware Unboxed with the first exclusive look at the 6600K processor. Let me know what you think in the comments, hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Yeah.